Let's take a look at the video and shared content watermark feature in Zoom. But first, what is a Zoom watermark? The Zoom watermark is going to be the viewer's information, the beginning of their email address or their full email address, tiled across the video feed and shared content, like shared screen. The watermark only shows up in the live Zoom. It doesn't appear in any recordings. Also, it only works if you have authentication required for your Zoom session. In order to use watermarking, first you have to enable it in your Zoom settings. So go to stonybrook.zoom.us, sign in, on the left click on settings, and then I'm going to use the search to search for watermark. Type watermark, hit enter, and it brings me down to the watermark section. So if it's off here, you want to make sure to toggle it on so it's blue or enabled. And then the other settings are fixed. It's going to show repeated watermark overlapping on the content for both the video feeds and the shared content. And it will be pretty transparent, only 15% of opacity. The other option you can enable here is anytime you create a meeting at stonybrook.zoom.us with authentication on, you can have the watermark automatically turned on by checking this. Now remember, this only works when you create meetings at stonybrook.zoom.us. If you create the meeting elsewhere, you need to go to the web portal and enable a watermark for that session. So now that it's enabled, let's take a look at how to do that. I am going to go ahead and schedule a meeting, demo watermark. And I'll first show you what happens when authentication is not enabled. So when I scroll down and click next to options, there isn't even a section here for watermark. However, watch what happens when I require authentication. I will get the option to add watermark. And because I checked the box to automatically add that option here, it's going to automatically be checked. If I created this meeting in Blackboard or in Calendar, I can come in here to edit the meeting and check the box to add watermark to the meeting. And when I click Save, whenever I start this meeting, I'll see watermarks on the meeting. One important note about watermarks is that they do not apply in recordings. This is only for your live content. There won't be a video or a shared content watermark in the recording, not in the cloud nor in the local recording. When I'm in a Zoom with watermarking on, you'll see that my watermark, because I'm viewing the screen, shows up across all of the video feeds here. Now I'm going to have my uh, Lego character share the screen and then you'll see that the shared content gets a watermark too. So now that Lego Man is sharing screen, you can see it still shows my email address as the viewer across all the content. A different participant in this session would see their email address across the content. And when I'm viewing shared content on a mobile device, I'll only see my first dot last, the beginning of my email address over the shared content. And that's the new watermark feature in Zoom.